With all the ways to create a wallet, sewing is the most common, but we do see other ways and the use of rivets is one of them. So today we're going to over the top six rivet wallets. What we can see is we've got the Mr. Lentz Bifold, the Kakwan Coin Card Wallet, American Bench Caliber Clip, the DDW Crafts UK Bifold, the Murdy Creative Leather Bifold, and the Colville Leather Longshore Wallet. Now, of course, price is what we start with, so let's look at the price. As you can see, they all compare. $74 for Mr. Lentz Wallet, $62 for the Kakawan, $29 for the Bench Caliber, $58 for the DW Crafts UK, Murdy Creative at $49, and Colville Leather at $54. All very close. Let's move on to each of these wallets. We'll be moving quickly, so remember that the full reviews, including the unboxing, can be found in the notes below, or you can search my channel. So let's get into it. If we look at the quick features of the Mr. Lentz Bifold, nothing on the exterior. Of course, you can see these rivets here. We go to the interior. We have two card slots, actually. There's only one on both sides. It does have a slit that allows you to have a card that is exposed. That's on both sides. And then we get into the billfold pocket. Very generous, and you can see how the leather folds over, and pretty much this is a single piece of leather with folds and the rivets. It's cut really nicely. It sits rather thin. This feels good in your hands. It's designed and made in the United States. It's a full grain veg tan leather that Mr. Lenz tans himself. He uses his own dyes and conditioners as well. So if you really are wondering how you can get a hold of some of that, he sells it on his site. And one thing to notice is that, and I'll point this out in other wallets, that the size of the rivet matters. It is not obtrusive. It sits well, but provides good accents to the wallet. Up to 10 cards and 10 notes aren't a problem for this, and it does fit all the currencies. Well, let's take a check. We've got them all right here. It's our old stack O combo cash. And we put them all in here, and this fits them all. So this is really good. I like the fact that we don't have a lot of depth left, a lot of height here, that it provides just enough coverage. Looks good in the pocket, and uh, it just holds what you need. This is really nice. So moving on to the next wallet, we've got the Kakawan card and coin holder here. It's really a wallet. Let's do a feature review. We had a review come out on this recently. It is folded leather. It's made from two pieces and nothing on the exterior. If we go to the interior through this snap, we can actually see that we have the rivets we're talking about right here. And it has initially in the front a coin pouch. This coin pouch it can also be used for cards if you'd like, but specifically for coins. And in countries where coins are big, it's designed and made in Spain. It is a full grain veg tanned leather. It's tanned in Ingualada near Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Barcelona. Of course, and this smells great as well. All currencies have to be folded at least once. So that's not even a question about what we have going on. And it can hold up to six cards, two plus notes, and but it's not designed to carry currency as its primary carry. It is coins and cards. I wish it had a quick access card slot somewhere in the back or some other way in here. Otherwise, you have to open up every single time you want to get to something. Now, let's move on to the next one. It is the American Bench Craft Caliber Wallet. We did a review on this a while back, so let's look at the features. The main feature we have here in the exterior is a money clip, and this money clip is great. I mean, you have to fold your cash. You can do halves, but it does stick out all the way. Let's kind of show you what that looks like here. Try it from the side so you can get a feel how that works. And we are, we are there. And so there you can see, if you have it folded once, it sticks out okay. Otherwise you can fold it in thirds or fours. We go to the inside and this is where we have our main card slot right here. It fits cards that then poke it down here. I'll show you what that looks like really quick. We'll actually use an embossed card to show that. And there you go. It does stick out a little at the top, a little on the bottom. Great to push out, pull out, all that works, but it is in here really well. And another thing that isn't really advertised, I think, is an option is this wrap around here. You could use this for another card. And I don't know if you'd, I don't think you'd use credit cards in here. But this could be loyalty cards, it could be an access card, a bus pass, those kinds of things. And that is a quick feature review. Uh, the money clip is either nickel or titanium. I have nickel here, and it can hold up to four cards and a wad of cash, as they put it, and it is guaranteed for life. Now let's move on to the DW Crafts UK wallet. This is, of course, made in the UK. I don't know how we would have gotten around that in DW Crafts UK. Well, let's look at the features. We have no appreciable features on the exterior. Again, nice look at the brass rivets that we have here. Go to the interior. We have a card slot over here on the left-hand side with a slit. Very much uh, Mr. Lentz-esque in the same type of method. You have a card that can sit on the outside, but the cards will 
rub against each other when they come in here. If we go to the other side, we have these little pieces of leather that stick out, and that is where keys go. Keys insert themselves here, so you can actually carry keys, and they're just not obtrusive. We have a coin pouch next to that, which is great, and we have the billfold pocket. You can see we have more rivets that are involved here, and that is just a really nice view. It is uh, made from just a couple pieces of leather, and it's very thin for all you get because you get cards, keys, coins, and cash. That's a lot of features to be put in a wallet like this. Uh, it, it's interesting because brass rivets are rust-proof. They're very strong, and they, they patina really nicely. There's no sewing in this wallet, obviously, and it fits all the currencies. Well, let's take a look. Stack of cash. Here we go. And handles it like a champ, and like I mentioned before with the, uh, Mr. Lentz wallet, a great little presentation that we have up here of the top, but it's not really tall. I like that because it makes it nice and compact. As I mentioned, the key slots, those are really quite clever. I'll, fine, I'll show you. Open this up. Here is a key. You can see your little key slot right there. It goes in and just peeks itself in there. It's nice and hidden there. It stays out of the way. It isn't affected because you've got coins in here and just keeps this rigid. It's just really cool. Now let's look at the Murdy. This is the Murdy Creative Wallet. Their leather bifold has no features on the exterior, and these, make some noise on this, these are, all right, they're not exactly rivets, they're called sex bolts. Well, we'll take a look. So we flip it over and go to the interior, we say, oh wow, is that it? Yeah, that's it, let's take a look. Has two slots, one on each side, and what's clever is you'll notice that it is a wrap. It's wrapped around on all sides. Accessing it is really from the interior fold in. So that's where cards go, cash that's folded and put in there as well. And the, what this provides is security. Once this is closed, you're not having cards or cash come out the top or the bottom. And of course, because it's captured in the fold, it's not getting out of there either. Now if we look at these, these are called post screws in addition to sex bolts. It's because there's a male and a female end. And so this screws into this side. So it's not a rivet, a rivet in the true sense, but it is close enough and I think it's kind of cool. Designed and made in the United States. It is a full grain veg tan leather and, uh, and you can see this right here. You may have noticed this is laser engraving. It's really quite nice. And so it, security is huge with this one. That's really the main part I see in this design because of the wrapped edges on the top and the bottom. It can hold up to 24 cards in cash. It's very impressive in what it can take on. But the cash needs to be folded uh, in the usual footprint we talk about. Once closed, nothing's coming out. So. Uh, interesting wallet, and I think this thing would last a long time. Now, our final wallet. This is the Colville Leather Longshore Wallet right here. Let's get into the features. We have no features on the exterior. We have these nice looking brass rivets. And as I mentioned with Mr. Lentz, you can see the size, and the size is indicative of the type of wallet. It's not obtrusive. The aesthetics on this are really nice. So if we open this up, we can see that it's one piece of leather that comes down and wraps up. We have card slots uh, on both sides here, which are really slits into the rear, uh, which is our cash billfold pocket area. This is an open billfold area and provides quick access to cash. We've seen these in other wallets out there. Very simple, but it's a, a very almost well-broken wallet. As you can see, it has already folds itself. It came this way. Uh, the breaking in will be very easy. The flesh side is nice and smooth. The company makes no recommendation on the number of cards, but up to nine would work just fine before it begins to stretch with 10 plus notes. I, all right, let's look at the currency. Well, being this is made in the UK and we've got a 20 note here, sterling pound or pound sterling. Uh, let me get this all measured up better. Put this in and see how this fits. And I think it fits just fine. Now, this is what you can see where I make a mention here, and it's not a big deal, but how you've got greater height here, but this is to accommodate the cards, and because this is a vertical card wallet with a billfold pocket. You close this though, still very thin, and still sits, very, still sits flush pretty much, even after putting 10 notes in there. Colville Leather is a smaller leather shop, and they really produce excellent products. You should really go take a look. Now, let's look at the sizes of all these. If you look here, you can see the sizes, how they compare. Not too bad, what you would expect for billfolds and other uniquely designed wallets. Now, of course, the weight. They all weigh different. Let's see what they feel like in your pocket before you put something in them. And I can see we've got the Kakawan 57 grams, but the DW Craft 68, Murdy 66, they're all pretty close to each other, which uh, is not a bad deal. It just means that you're getting a lot of good leather there. Now, let's look at the final scores for all of these. Okay, Mr. Lance at 38, the Kakawan 36, the Caliber Clip at 40, 
DW Crafts at 38, Murdy 38, and Colville at 40. All very good scores. And that wraps up our review and look at the top six rivet wallets of 2021. We have a number of tops coming out, so look at the videos that are coming to you. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, so you'll always be, no always be notified when things come out. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.